up, everybody? Around and that's your week. Looking forward to the Nebraska game. We have had a very busy and eventful week at CycloneFanatic.com. Excited that we got the big announcement there on Thursday. Uh, we appreciate some of the kind comments. We appreciate the work that Jeremy Lind has done over the years. Thanks, buddy. Uh, we're going to represent your website very well. I hope everybody likes some of the changes that are going to be on the way. Trust me, it's a very exciting time. Uh, to be a visitor to CycloneFanatic.com. And we're going to work real hard to make sure it's an awesome website and we'll keep it up. Um, all right, let's move now to the Nebraska game tomorrow. This has been a strange week. You know, Iowa State has the injuries with Arnaud and Robinson. you got the quarterback situation that's been happening in Nebraska. Uh, the Husker fan base is uneasy. That's a shock. Uh, Trice living in southwest Iowa, I mean, putting up with some of these people this week. It has not been pleasant. Zach Lee, Cody Green, we still don't know who's going to start for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Here's the deal. I think Iowa State's really playing some pretty good football. I mean, realistically, they could have beaten Baylor 38-3 to this past Saturday. They didn't. Failed to execute a few times. A little bit disturbing, but not really. I mean, you look at the numbers, Iowa State dominated that football game. Nebraska is a team that is reeling right now. You really don't know what Cornhusker team is going to show up on Saturday. Is it the team that nearly beat Virginia Tech? Or is it the team we saw in the fourth quarter against Missouri? Or is it the team that showed up against Texas Tech last week? Don't really know. The Cornhuskers are not an easy team to get a grasp on this year. Nonetheless, while Iowa State is improving, the offense is playing pretty well, I don't think Iowa State's going to win this game. I wish I could be a little bit more optimistic. I do think they'll cover the point spread. It's currently sitting around 18 points. But I'm just not 100% convinced that Alexander Robinson is that healthy. I'm not 100% convinced that Austin or not is that healthy. Now, I'm not saying that they're not going to play on Saturday. I just don't know how much they're going to play on Saturday. And that's really not a secret. We've all been discussing this on the CycloneFanatic.com message boards all week long. But I think we all know without those two players at 100%, this is a completely different Iowa State football team. Granted, Nebraska's offense is not flashy. They are not even that good, I would say, on the offensive side of the football. Being in Lincoln, uh, they are a very motivated football team. I, I think they'll put up some points against the Iowa State defense. As far as a final score goes, I'm going to say somewhere around the 28-14 to 14 mark, maybe 28-17. to uh, 17. I think the Clones, again, will cover the point spread, but it's going to be really difficult to score on that Nebraska defense, especially if Austin Arnaud and A-Rob aren't completely healthy. Wish I could make a different pick, but I'm going to take the Nebraska Cornhuskers by anywhere from 10 to 14 points in this one coming up on Saturday. Thanks for checking out the website. We really appreciate it. Looking forward to the future, and we appreciate all you guys stopping by CycloneFanatic.com.